located on Lombardi Avenue. Lambeau Field is the home for this NFC matchup between the Seahawks and the Packers. When you look at the matchup at receiver today, we have a couple of guys out there that aren't considered game breakers, but you better be careful because they can still burn you if you're not careful. Yeah, well, these guys have a little bit of everything, Jim. Their size, they got some power and also quick-footed enough where if they get a chance in the open, open field, they can make you miss. And in this game today, it's, it's all about the wide receiver, so these guys will have a chance to get it done. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. Imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. Yeah, we talk so much, don't we, about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out hit the other one. And right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. Second down here. Will go ground, heading right, and the tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. That was a nice run that time by the offense, picking up those yards. And any time you gain more than three yards on a running play in the National Football League, it is deemed successful. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Staying on the ground. They run right. Blindly spins away from the hit. When a coach can ever run, it picks up those kind of yards. It gives them confidence, and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. So, Phil, here we are with the Seahawks and the Packers. And, of course, last year there was that controversial ending with the replacement referees that gave the touchdown to Golden Tate. Seahawks won the game. Ended up affecting the Packers seeding in the playoffs. But what about the game here today? Well, I look at it this way, Jim. The Green Bay Packers are probably thinking to themselves, that cost us a chance to go to the Super Bowl. So that is always going to be hanging over their head. I think that gives them some, I think it gives them an emotional lift, and it's going to help their play here on the field. Outside linebackers are just, they, they really are great athletes. They got size, and they can really run. That was a good job by the outside linebacker there that time, stopping the outside run for a little game. Aaron Rodgers will be under center. Third and six. Bosses it to the running back. They're set to punt it away now. up here. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Gets past the first wave. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. You know, back to the Seahawks and the Packers a year ago, and that was the game when Rodgers was sacked eight times in the first half. So, if you go back, as I know they did this week, and look at the film, they have found ways to apply pressure to Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, they have. Aaron Rodgers, sometimes you got to be careful when you look at sacks because he will move around and look for extra time to throw it. He doesn't take chances with the football. And I'll say this, when you play Seattle, you got to worry about the pass rush. Run the football more. You can run the football on their defense. Trying the right side. Nickel formation here for the defense. Third down and three. Percy Harvin with the grab. 
when you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. It's handed to the running back. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. That pass play picks up a first down. The post route, deep down the field, going towards the goal post. It's not called enough in this league. Nice throw by the quarterback. They've got a first down now after that catch. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. Looks to his left. Makes the grab. Touchdown. If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score. That's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Now in first down. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down coming up. Quarterback drops back, play action. The defense gets a sack. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed, and when it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. Looking to the right side and throwing. Rodgers connects with Jordy Nelson. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The Packers all bunched up here as they get set at the line. End of one here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the second. We're back here in this low-scoring affair. Finley's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The Packers now moves the chains. Hard to play man to man against such a quality wide receiver. He's fast, he's big. You got to mix up the coverage. You play straight man to man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. First and ten, handoff. Breaks the tackle. He stacked up at that point. Second down here after that run play. Play action fake, looking to throw. He had no time to get set. Finley's playing out of position in the backfield here. That pass was hurried. 